In this Let's Play live stream, we're going to be playing American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules at Mahjong time. The best place to play online, in my humble opinion. If you'd like to come and try it out, look for my email in the video description below. I can send you a 30-day VIP code. If you don't see the word live at the top of the screen, you're watching the repost. In this live stream, there will be live chat. So I will be chatting with the audience. If you're watching the repost and if you have questions along the way, comment below the video and I'll do my best to answer. Let's go live. We're gonna be playing Epoch tonight. So, you know, I, I'm a less is more kind of girl. So um, I, I'm gonna go with a French manicure and um, I guess we can try a tattoo. I don't know, this is gonna take getting used to. And now with the beta, there is, the option to turn off hands is disabled. But when they roll this out to the public, there will be an option to disable the hands. And you will be able to have uh, ordered discards. If you play with the hand, then you will have random discards. And this is the experience that you will have. So this will be a little different tonight. We're going to try Epoch. You... I see you, but the board is frozen. Well, it's because I haven't done anything yet, so you're good, I think. Um, I, I haven't clicked on anything yet because I just wanted to kind of uh, prepare everybody for the change. Uh, so let's see, uh, Diane is on Apple. Ron, hi, from South Carolina. You're not too far from me. Just a few hour drive, like four hours or something. Well, I suppose it depends on where in South Carolina because I'm in North Georgia. Happy New Year, Trish. Happy New Year to everybody. We had a fantastic vacation in Disney World at the height of the season. We were there the week of Christmas. I know, I know, I know, I know. Yes, it was insanity, but we had a fabulous time. And um, really just one day, it was just packed with people. But we found our way, and there were five of us. So we did a lot of hand-to-hand, um, -hand, uh, you know, follow the leader type action going on. And uh, we, we, uh, we never got lost from each other, which was good. Um, it rained every day. So we went during the height of the season, massive crowds, rain every day, and we had a fantastic time. And I looked like a drowned rat, or I should say a wet rat. It wasn't that bad. I looked like a wet rat in the photos. And you might have seen a couple of them uh, on Facebook. So yeah, we had a great time. Hi, Cheryl, welcome. Thanks everybody for coming. So let's, let's talk about Epoch, I guess. Does everyone know about Epoch? This is the new rollout that's coming in the next several months. It's in beta right now. So, uh, some of the VIP members are testing it live and uh, they'll probably be making some tweaks along the way. I played on it a couple of times and it, it definitely takes getting used to. Even Slava himself said he had a hard time getting used to it at first. So we're going to try it out. Okay, let's see. Ron said uh, he just ordered his cards. Thanks for the heads up. Yes. Um, last, let's see. No, I think probably maybe four years ago, I started ordering my card in the first week of January. And um, I have heard more and more that that is the best way to go, at least to get in on the first batch that they send out in late March. If you wait too long, if you wait till mid-February mid or late February, you may not get your card until late April or even in May. So you want to try to order your card early. If you order through someone who's doing a fundraiser, that may be a little bit of a challenge because you never know when they're going to submit their orders. And if they order late, then you're going to get your cards late. But if you're playing with a group, as long as everybody has the same card, it really doesn't matter. Eventually, everyone will be playing on the new card. And of course, there's a big ruckus going on about what are they going to do about 2020? especially the big year hand. But somebody pointed out that we got through 2002 just fine. So we'll be fine. 
Let's see, Cheryl said, reminder, we are having our first tournament in Greenville, South Carolina on March 15th. Okay, Cheryl, look for my email in the video description below with the details and I'll post it on Mahjong Central. And also, if you haven't already done so, post it on Mahjong Community and maybe even post it as an event on Mahjong That's It Facebook groups. You'll get lots of visibility those three ways. Uh, let's see, Sharon said, that happened to me last year. I ended up getting my card from Amazon before you got your order card. So Sharon, you ordered through someone doing a fundraiser? Uh, okay, Laura said the 2007 card shows news in the big year hand. That's interesting. Kind of what I w proposed was a pair of flowers, pairs of news, and then 2020 in one, one suit. I thought that'd be nice. Not a big emphasis on the 2020 though, so I don't know if that would really work. It wouldn't be a big year hand though. I mean, a year it would have year tiles in it, but it would be more about news than it would be about 2020. Okay, so Sharon, do you still order through a fundraiser or do you order directly from the league now? I just wondered if you decided to change your method. Because that's good to know. Some people don't realize that if you order through a fundraiser, although you're benefiting an organization that is in need, you could be sacrificing playing early with the new card. Okay, you're ordering from the league. Yeah, it can be painful, especially if other people have their card and you don't, because then you feel left out. That, that has happened to me a couple of times, just because I think once... I ordered my card late, and uh, it took me a, a while to get my card, I think maybe mid-April, so I had to wait, and I felt a bit left out. Uh, let's see. Oh, Cheryl has a good uh, option there. Order from the fundraiser and from the league. That way you can do both. That's a good idea. That's a great idea, because there are some really great causes to give to. Okay. All right. So shall we go into this uh, epoch now? Um, I just logged in to Mahjong Time, and this is the landing page when you first get epoch. And this may change because, again, this is the beta. Uh, so hi, Nancy. Welcome. Uh, so this is the beta. And so when you first log in, you're going to be prompted to customize your avatar which is your player. In, in my case, I, I put my photo in there. Uh, I decided not to do an avatar. I wanted to do a real photo. Uh, let's see, Irene said you enjoyed the breakdown of the new card for 2019. Looking forward to breakdown of 2020. Yes, that is in the plan. And I hope to get my card early. I need it as early as possible because then I've got to make all my videos. So I, I hope that I get my card early. I have a lot of work to do before I can start putting out 2020 videos. So that, that is a real challenge for me, that last, the end of March and early April. So please be patient um, in regards to videos with the 2020 card. And then of course the, the card analysis. It usually takes me a day to do the analysis and um, kind of get a feel for the pitfalls, the strengths, weaknesses of the card, um, and get all that in a presentable format. And then I film it and then publish it. And I think I'm gonna do that again this year. So I'll publish it and then a week later we'll do a, see, what did I call it last year? I called it a, I forgot what I called it like a huddle or something, not a summit. I forgot what I called it, but so I'll launch the video with the analysis and then a week later, everybody can kind of digest it and play with it a little bit. And then we'll have a, a get together live and do a Q and A and talk about my findings and any findings that other people came up with. In that follow up event, that was a live stream. I got some really great input and I made an update to my analysis 
uh, with the input and it, it really helped a lot getting some other eyes in there. So um, I'm looking forward to it very much. Let's see, what do we have? Irene said it really helped me when you did your analysis. Yeah, okay. Um, let's see, peekaboo man. Oh, that was my husband. <laughs> he was in the kitchen. Did he peek his head in here? <laughs> um, okay, hi, Carol. Nice to see you here. Oh, there was a man. That was probably my husband in the door. I didn't realize you could see my door. Okay, am I frozen? Uh-oh. No, I'm not frozen. Okay. All right, so now that we got the 2020 um, thing out of the way, um, I mean, that might come up and that's, that's fine, uh, but we will definitely be all looking forward to that. Everyone's already thinking about it and talking about what's going to come back and what's the year category going to look like and what are the pair hands going to look like. So it'll be, and the dragons, because, you know, with 2020, that's two white dragons right there. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. So uh, did everybody get their bulletin in the, in the mail with the FAQs? There's a new rule in there and there's a little bit of a clarification on the simultaneous call exposure situation. So I don't, I hope I'm not um, giving away a spoiler on that. I guess I should have said spoiler alert. So um, no bull, I haven't gotten my bulletin yet either, but somebody posted a photo of their bulletin. So I nabbed it and I got it into my knowledge base so I can search and answer people's questions pretty quick now. Um, so really it's all, you know, been there, done that, except for two things. The uh, calling a player's hand dead, if you're wrong, you pay 50 points. Or whoever's wrong. If the caller or the person who declared the player wrong and the, the hand is not dead, then the, the person declaring the hand dead has to pay 50 points. <coughs> Excuse me. If the person playing the hand was playing a dead hand, then they have to play the person who declared their hand dead 50 points. So that's a new rule, but they did post that in advance on their face on their uh, FAQ page on their website. Uh, okay, Anita, you get the bulletin by purchasing your card through the league. That's how you register for their bulletin or mailing list. So uh, it's kind of their newsletter, bulletin slash newsletter. And that comes out in January. So in there is some, a, a little bit of business, you know, kind of a letter from the league. And then there's some letters from members, some thank yous to those who uh, support the league through charitable fundraisers. And then there's the infamous FAQs that they post, most of them, have been, um, you know, posted in the past, but every now and again, we get something new. So um, one of the sort of uh, sticklers in this bulletin on the simultaneous call slash exposure situation is that both players have to call. So you cannot just expose your tiles. That is playing out of turn. You have to call. So if you call, if two players call, refrain from exposing because then that gives this other person a chance to, you know, get the tile if they're next in line. If it's a simultaneous call, the issue is the call exposed in one fell swoop. That's the problem. And I still think it's wrong, but I'm just a player. I'm not on the committee. I have no power. So it is what it is, and my group will not play that way. Yes, Bonnie, I agree. I don't like it. It's very contentious. I don't like it. So nothing we can do about it. That's the league rule. So uh, some groups decide not to play by that rule, and they say next in line gets the tile, period. 
In which case, when you call for a tile, just pause a beat before you make an exposure. And I'll make, an, make um, you know, reach for the tile too. That way it gives another player time to say, wait, I think I want that too. Then you're not exposing. But here's the thing that bothers me. The reason, the big reason why they say that they made it a rule is because it protects the second caller. But here's the thing, if it's a simultaneous call, that second player is outed regardless of if an exposure is made. So to me, that's a moot point. It doesn't, the logic doesn't work there for me. If there's a simultaneous call, the next person in line gets the tile. If the person did a call expose in one fell swoop, to me, that's aggressive and, and uh, bad form. So I would say call, pause a beat, reach for the tile. That should be plenty of time for anything else to happen in the meantime. I, I won't make an exposure until I obtain that discarded tile. And they have also said in their bulletin that you... It, there's no rule about taking that discarded tile and putting it in or on your rack before you make an exposure. That's not a rule, but they do say it's best to take the tile, put it on top of your rack, and then add the tiles from your hand. And that basically validates that you picked up the correct tile. The, tile, the discard could have been misnamed, you could have heard it wrong, and by taking the tile first before making an exposure protects you from uh, potentially having a dead hand because you picked up the wrong tile or you misheard a tile or the tile was declared incorrectly and you, you made an exposure then and you're stuck. So in my opinion, you make the call. If it's a simultaneous call, you defer to the player next in line. If you make the call and nobody else wants it, then you obtain the tile, put it on your rack, rack, validate that it's the correct tile, then add tiles from your hand. And I know that seems arduous, but when you get used to the process, it's pretty fast. All right, so let's see. Uh, somebody said, wonder what tournaments will do. Well, tournaments will play by league rules. Uh, for the most part, uh, with additional tightened rules to make it fair for everybody. So I'll have to look at Gladys's rules because I don't remember what she said about that rule. I think it's next in line, but I don't know. I could be wrong. Um, oh, yeah, Bonnie says, and this is a really good point, it can't happen on the Internet. Only one caller. Uh, when you're playing online. There's no way to have a simultaneous call. It, it's not possible. So that's an interesting point. Okay, shall we get to the game after all, uh, all the uh, business is out of the way with the 2020 card, the bulletin, the two, uh, the clarification, and the new rule? I think that pretty much covers everything that has happened over the holidays. So let's uh, look at Epoch now. So when you first open or log in, this is your landing page. Hi, Peg. Happy New Year. So when you first log in, you're going to see a hand here, and you're going to click on Customize Avatar Hand. Can you see this button over here? Let's see, is my mouse matching me here? So I'm going to click on the, av the Customize Avatar Hand. I'll wait for it to catch up with me. Okay, and then in the left panel, you see a temporary menu. You see hand, so you're just going to click on each one of these and then customize it. And some of these are free and some of these cost dragon coins. So you either need to earn dragon coins, convert dragon chips to coins, or purchase dragon coins. Does anybody have any questions about the in-game currency? I'll put a link in the video description for in-game currency because there are two forms of currency. 
dragon coins and dragon chips. Dragon coins have a, a ratio to dra of dragon chips. So I don't remember what it is. Um, we'll look at it. Oh, let's see. Oh, over here you can see. Let's see here. It looks like I um, on the right side, you can see under my, my picture, it says I have 400 dragon coins, and then I have 33,900 dra dragon chips. So I have plenty to purchase any one of these if I want, but I'm not gonna purchase any right now. Um, I was thinking maybe, maybe, uh, so what you would do is if you don't want to have anything, you just click empty and then you can just click on each one of them to see what it would look like on your hand. So there's kind of a, a, um, tribal tattoo. Here's a dragon tattoo. Here's a, looks like, um, some kind of a, another tribal swirl. We have a butterfly, a rose with a tribal tattoo, another butterfly. Let's see here. Uh oh. We have a gecko. There's another butterfly with a black swirl. Yeah, it is it is a lot of chips. That would take away half my dragon chips. And then we have a, a sun moon zen kind of thing going on. And then there's a heart with a swirl. Here's a, a tribal dragon. And this looks like a could be a dragon, but it looks like a bat to me. This looks like a, a stingray, like a astrology stream, stingray or something. And then we have a star with a tribal theme. So let's play with the uh, dragon, tribal, tribal dragon, okay? So that's we're just going to go with that. It's free. So let's put that on and see what it feels like, okay? Does that sound good? Or does something else seem better to you. It's free. It's one of the free ones. <laughs> so I'm all for free. Woohoo! Okay, so after you pick the uh, tattoo, then you go to your nails. And here you can do empty, which is just natural. And then you could do the French manicure, which looks the same to me. But maybe once we click out, it'll change a little bit. It'll be more pink. I don't know. Um, there's like a, it looks like snowflake, there's a flower, kind of like a, looks like a 60s vibe there. And then we have a little, a, kind of a matching rose tribal theme that kind of matches that tattoo. So if you like the matchy matchy, here you go. Then we have a butterfly there. <clears throat> Sorry you guys, I have a cold. So <laughs> I'm going to be hacking and coughing, so forgive me in advance. I, I had, I think, being wet for, you know, seven days kind of took a toll on me. So anyway, um, let's see. Next we have another flower. And then here we have a 70s vibe going on. Disco fingers. Disco fingers. Okay, and then this one, I don't know what to think about this one. This one looks, this one almost looks like Bo like Bali or something. And then here it looks like confetti. And then here we have uh, some kind of a black paint going on there. And then another confetti. So let's see. I think I'm going to have enough of a challenge getting used to the hand and the tat. So I'm thinking French manicure. Okay, what do you guys think about that? Oh, <laughs> just play. Okay, we'll do that. So next, <clears throat> next are bracelets, same thing. Next is watch, you could do that. Index finger, middle finger, ring finger, baby finger. We don't need to go through every one of them. So we'll just do a tap and that's it, okay? So once you do that, then Let's see, you say return to games in the bottom left. Change the skin color. Okay, let's see here. 
Now I don't know how to go back. Sorry, I already got out and I don't see where I can change it. I might have to log in and out again. So, all right, we'll go with this for now. And if I can, we'll change the skin color later. I don't see where I can change the, oh, here we go, avatar hand. Um, hand, skin color. What is it? Um, okay. All right, is that okay? Is that better? I know how to go back there now. It's underneath your picture, avatar hand. Oh, it didn't hold. Hand skin color. It's kind of touchy. All right, we're just gonna move on. Okay, so let's see how if that works. Okay, we'll move on. Okay, thank you, Nancy. All right, let's go. Okay, sorry, Bonnie. Okay. All right, we'll see. If I messed it up, I'll hit purchase, but I didn't spend any coins. So, all right, we're going to join. We're going to join a table. So now we just have to wait for one more player, and then we'll play. So if I didn't change the skin color, we'll, we'll do that really quick. But I hope that gave you an idea of what Epoch's going to be like, and now we'll experience the customization. I have to hit the, per the button, huh? Yep. All right, this will only take a second, I think. Okay, I'm hitting purchase, but nothing's happening. Okay, I tried to hit purchase, but nothing happened. I'm going to join the game. Oh, geez. All right, we'll just go back to it later. Um, yes, you can set your gender. Okay, here we go. We're going to play now after those shenanigans. So, sorry about that. All right, here we go. I'm going to turn my sound down a little. This might be a little loud here. Okay. So, what do we have? We've got a couple jokers. That's kind of nice. And... If you, if you are new to watching live streams, I like to build around multiples, so I'm keeping eights. And then we have fives. So I'm going to hope for five, six, seven, eight consecutive run. Since I'm keeping consecutive tiles, I'm going to keep five through nine. Let's see if we have tiles to pass. We do. So that's what we're going to discard. We'll see what comes in. I'm thinking five through eight. That's a bit of a big range when you're working with mixed suits. Really four numbers is, is going to be the way to go if we're going to use both fives and eights. We got like numbers, fours. Okay, so we're going to break those up. So let's do five through eight and give up on the nine. All right, so what we really want here is a six dot because then we can play the second hand down under consecutive run. We could still play that, that hand, but we have a gap, no six dot. So let's see if we can get a six dot. Even one will help us. So let's focus on five, six, seven, eight, second hand down. That would allow us to use both multiples. And the dragon or the jokers can help us with our gap. We're looking for a six dot specifically, if possible. So let's break up year tiles. I try not to send two year tiles together or two wins together. 
if I can. So we're going to break those up, the year tiles, and give up on this seven. Okay. So we're playing maybe the second hand down. If we get six, seven, and other eights, we could maybe play the fourth hand down as a long shot. We're going to have to send, no, 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 we don't have to send two year tiles. Let's keep the nine and pass the one east. That way, if we get everything we want, we'll have a two nine and two suits to, to pass. Okay, here we got a seven dot, which is not really going to be very helpful unless we get a six dot and an eight band for consecutive run number four. So we'll see what we can do here. Addition, 5, 8, 13. Well, I usually don't play that if I have no flowers because we need four. Uh, but that is a possibility. We would need a, the one bam back and, of course, flowers. So we'll see. If we get the one bam back, we can hold it and see. We've got tiles to pass. So if we get the one bam, we can maybe do the addition hand if we get flowers. Well, yes, we do have two jokers, but we still have a gap either way. So we'll see what we can do. It's still on the table. We could still do it if we get the tiles during the picking and discarding now. So let's just see what happens. I'm going to keep number tiles and discard Seven wins. Win. Okay, here come the hands Seven now. Wins. And there's going to be random discards, by Seven the way. Win. So the tiles are going to be out um, in random Seven order. Win. Okay, we'll see. Two characters. We'll see if we can get some flowers. Two bamboos. Okay, we're not taking that. What we what I'd really like is uh East oh end. that hand is kind of scared me. <laughs> uh, we want a six dot specifically. So there's a one bam out. If we go for addition, there's one out right now. So I want to try to keep number tiles. So I'll get rid of the dragon. dragon. The number tiles are more likely going to be in exposures with jokers. Yeah. So I want to maximize that opportunity. So I'm going to discard wins and dragons since I'm not using them. Three bamboos. Okay, let's discard the year tiles. One. And then the five. The five is probably the most predominant number tile. So if I'm not using it, I try to discard it early. Five characters. Okay, we're not taking that. There's a flower. We'll keep it. Let's get rid of the two. two so we still need a one, Nine a one bam. We have a gap. We don't even have a, a three bam either. There are two one three bams bam. out as, at this point also. One character. Okay, let's get rid of the five and keep the eight. Five. We do have a slight potential for like numbers with eights if we can get the eight band. Hi, JL. Hi, Martha. Welcome. Okay, let's see. Mary Mary asks, oh, we got the eight band. Look at that. Okay, let's get rid of four band. Okay, I think uh, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. I think consecutive run is going to be the way to go or like numbers with eights. We, we have a discard before we really have to decide. There's the second one bam out. Oh, we got the six dot, finally. Okay, now we have no gaps for five, six, seven, eight, second hand down. So that's what I would focus on. Second hand down. I probably would give up the seven first and focus on the second hand down. We're one away from being set on that. Hi, Gloria also known as eight jingles. Bamboos. Okay, we're not taking the eight bam. We got another flower. That could be joker bait. 
seven dots. Oh, the hand color stayed. Okay, good. Two characters. No worries, Mar Martha. We we went through the epoch change uh, and how how to work with the avatar hand. So you really this is the first game we've played. You really haven't Two missed dots. too much. And of course, this will be recorded and uploaded. So we're playing second hand down, I think, under consecutive run. At this point, we're, we're heading into the middle game. Let's One see, we're already in the middle game, so we should know what, what we're playing here, I think. There's a three bam, actually. Let's get rid of the eights. We're actually set on the addition hand. Let's see, who brought that up? The addition hand. Four bamboo. Who, who brought up the addition hand? Because we, we have everything we need for the addition hand. Now, the challenge is there are three one bams out, so I don't know. That is going to be a, a challenge. Let's see Nine here. Characters. Oh, DT brought up the addition hand. We are set for the addition hand, but there are three one bams Nine out. Characters. So we're, we're going to have to wait and see. I don't know if I want to commit to that hand. Uh, because we still have to make three exposures before we're ready for that one tile. The only thing that would stop me from committing to that is, of course, if it goes down. But if we pick it, then we can run with it. But if it, one of these pong, or Kong tiles go down for second hand down under consecutive run, I would commit to that because we have no gaps. So we're in between addition 8, 5, 13 and five, six, seven, eight. If we get the one bam, the last one bam, we'll switch to addition. And Nancy, we moves. did get the flowers. You said statistically we should get them. That doesn't always six work in dots. my favor though. Usually when I want flowers, I do not get them. I think I'm gonna Kong at this point because we're, we're heading into the end game. I need to get rid of the flowers, the one bam, I have no idea where it is. Somebody could be playing a year hand, for all I know. And we had no gaps for the second hand down. I'm gonna get rid of these flowers next. Four characters. There's the first flower out. Let's see who wants it. Oh, no joker. Darn. Oh, bummer. North I was hoping for... Oh, good. We got a joker. We need that because we need to pung the seven. So I got rid of the risky tiles. There are two one cracks out and two two bams out. Okay, what was the three? Three dot? What? Oh, one crack. No, pass. Ooh, I don't really... Those graphics are hard to get used to. Six characters. Yeah, somebody was a little nervous that the hands were going to affect the performance of the game, but I don't see that to be the case. One character. It doesn't seem to have affected the game at all. White dragon. So we're good to go. We're set, actually, for consecutive run number two. Three dots. And if we had gotten that one bam, I would have played Double. addition. It came in, but the... Um, Nine dots. That uh, no gap Pung Kong hand, I think, was a Seven better, dots. had better odds for completion. Because you never know where that one bam is. Dots. It'll be interesting to see where it is. Okay, this is a fresh tile. I'm going to discard it. Four dots. Hold your breath. Kong. Oh, Kong is better than Mahjong. Two characters. And we have two three BMs. There are two out, so I'm not too nervous about it, but Who's I would like to them? I would like to discard this three BM. Nine bamboos. Okay, somebody let's see here, hold on. I saw that comment, huh. Nancy. Oh, there's a joker. Okay, so uh Five Martha said that they started lining up their discards like it's One done on Mahjong down. time. Instead of random discards. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, Nancy said, okay, what? A crack. We're going to Kong. Kong. There goes the three bam. Let's see if they're playing three, six, nine. No. 
Okay, Nancy said they should work on making the numbers on the tile bigger. They're hard to read sometimes. Okay, I think Slava does watch the live streams every now and again, so I'll try to uh, make a note of that and let him know your your input there. Okay, they oh they need flowers. Two, four, five. There are three flowers left. Wait, five character? Uh, no. Five character? I can't see. Where? Oh, we need to pong. The, I'm not... Oh, no. They got a Kong. We're going to need a Joker now. Oh, that's a bummer. There are some out, though. One of them is our seven, though. A five Bam is available, and a three Crack is available. Five Bamboo. Yeah, someone else got the seven. I'm not used Younger. to the to the the graphics when a tile is discarded. I'm having a hard time identifying what was discarded. And with chatting in the live stream, okay, we will pung. Pung. West wind. So I'm not I'm not I'm having a hard time seeing what East was discarded wind. and chatting at the same time. So North hopefully I don't mess up my hand because of that. So we need we need a three crack or a five bam. Oh, we got it. Six dot. Six Exchange dot. for mahjong. We got it. Mahjong. <laughs> Woo! -hoo! Okay, where's the one bam? It's in the wall. Late in the wall. Who knows where it would have come from? So. Uh, let's see. Let's look and see what everybody was playing. Uh, North was playing. Uh, oh, they needed flowers. Ouch. They they didn't have one. Oh, that's why I don't like to commit to uh, flower hand when I have a gap like that for a pair especially. That's a challenging spot to be in. But they made a valiant effort on that. Then here we have a ready hand. They needed a 6-bam, 7-bam, or uh, yeah, 6-bam or 7-bam. There was a six bam out, so they needed that seven bam, which was being held by North. And then over here, we had seven, eight, nine, ready to win on an eight dot. And that is the consecutive mixed suit Kong hand, third one down under consecutive run. And then here we have consecutive run number two. That's a pretty easy hand. Thank you, Heidi. <clears throat> Thank you, Irene. All right. Oh, here, here's the table. Let's go in. Okay. So, what do you guys, what do you guys think about Epoch with the hand? Is it a yay or a nay? It's going to take getting used to. Even Slava himself said it was going to take getting used to. Okay. Can you change from random discard? Laura asked. When you when you're playing Epoch, it comes with random discards. So no, you cannot, because the the proportion of the hand would would be messed up and they didn't want to include a shoulder reaching to place a discard way up away from them. So it, visually it didn't work or programmically and visually it didn't work in their opinion. So they opted not to do it. So we have north, south, pung north. I'm thinking maybe a quint with um, no jokers here. Let's keep wins and let's keep dragons just to see we do have two eights, so we do have two threes. Uh, we do have all the threes, actually. We could maybe play north and south with threes. Let's keep the threes and see what happens. We could play north and south with threes, fourth hand down. We would have to throw away one of the norths. Okay, Trish said, okay, Laura. Oh, we got a lot of nays. Let's see. <laughs> okay, Peg says she's looking forward to it. Heidi said, not a, not a fan. Uh, not sh uh, Sharon said, not sure. Um, we have to accept the change eventually. Yeah, uh, we're going to pass 461, I think. Vote for no epoch, says Laura. You like it, but the first few times it's going to take getting used to. I think so. The idea here is it's going to make it feel more authentic. It's going to make it feel more realistic. All right, now we have a three um we're we're in between we're at a decision point let's give up the red dragon here 
because we are in between a quint with no jokers, which is a gap, or north and south with threes, no gap. So we're going to go with north and south with threes, and we'll break up the eights. Hard to read the numbers. Okay, not sure you like the hand, says Deanne. Oh, okay. Oh, look, we got a south. Very nice. I'm thinking north and south with threes looks really good. So let's break up the eight. So Carol said wins with the year. Is that what you did? I, I think I gave up a year tile, but I we did have a two and a one and two different. Oh, my goodness. We got a pair of sixes. Okay, we can't use it, though. We're I think north and south with threes is pretty solid, so we're just going to break it up. Let's see. Keep twos, ones, nines when you get them. That that was an option. Um, at the time, I was building around the multiple, which is, which was the eight dot. And then we paired up a three, and we have threes. And now we have no gaps for north and south with threes. Here we got a one uh, white dragon. So I think a year hand had some possibilities here. Um, and we could potentially revert to that, but we have no east-west. So, hmm. No east-west. I'm going to go with no gap. I think there is potential for a year hand, uh, the news year hand, second one down under Winds and Dragons. But we have no gaps with this north-south three. And east-west, I haven't seen any of that coming through yet. So, oh, uh, they want one? One? All right, the six was going around. Let's discard that. We'll hold the two. Maybe we'll get a year tile. We got six. So we'll hold the year tile. We'll see what comes in. And we'll discard the five. So since we're playing Winds and Dragons, I'm going to keep the Winds. If, if we happen to get it east-west, we could try to play the Wind hand. I gave away a White Dragon. So, uh, and I think I gave away a one dot. So we'll see what comes in here. We got a three now. North and south with threes looks real good. Six characters. Six bamboos. I'll hold the north for a little while. If we get Six if we bamboos. get jokers, we could play a quint. The the second hand down under quints. But I think north and south with threes is a great hand. It's a 25-point hand. I think it should be a 30-point hand because there's three pair in there. Two dots. But we have no gaps for that Six hand. Characters. There's an east. Eight bamboos. We'll see what happens Seven here. Characters. Six bamboos. One dot. There's that one dot. Oh, we got a joker. Let's let's give up the three crack. Three characters. The north and south, if if Five we end up playing the year hand, we're gonna need to Kong the North. Five but I think that it's gonna be better a uh, better six dots. Ooh, somebody got a win already. That was quick. Oh my gosh, it's a pair hand. So we hardly got underway at all. Very, very nice. They, they won with a pair hand. Three through nine pair hand. Okay, over here we have two, three, four consecutive run. It looks like they were trying maybe three, four dragon under consecutive run. And then of course here north and south with threes, maybe a quint, maybe a year hand. And then here they were playing a year hand. They ended up keeping that white dragon, I think I gave, no, I didn't pass that to them. I thought that was a cross pass. I don't remember, but all right, that was a good game. That was really quick. All right, let's, let's join a table here. 
Um, what's this? Okay, that looked like something new here. Oh, I don't know what that dialogue box was all about. It went away before I could really read it. Maybe I clicked on the row instead of the button. I don't know. All right. So we're we're going to be playing. Oh, this is a. a uh, we're not going to play this table, at least right now. I thought I joined the seven second auto. Let's see. Here we go. Fast. Okay. Oh boy. M J M J O J A M M J O M J O J A M. I'm not sure the pronunciation there, but she's a really good player. I think we played last night and she won. I actually played last night and we had six consecutive wall games. The same players. We just kept going and going and going. Six consecutive wall games. It was funny. Oh, I clicked on watch, I guess, JD said. Oh, JD, JD, is that my JD? Is JD Lana my JD? That little picture looks like you, JD. Let me know, though, because that picture is pretty tiny. I clicked on watch, not join. Oh, Carol. <laughs> Carol's M. Joe Jam. Okay, you changed you changed your avatar name. M. Joe Jam. I thought I recognized your photo, but I wasn't sure. I have a terrible memory for faces. But um, okay, so is it M. M. Joe Jam? Mahjong O. Jam? How do you want us to say that? Oh, that is okay. You guys, J. D. is my sister-in-law. Welcome her, please. J. D. Lana. She went to Disney World with us, and she was our tour guide. She knows Disney World like the back of her hand, and she got us where we needed to go. So, I bow to you, my tour guide of Disney World. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, my goodness. Look, we've got three dragons, three white dragons. What do you say we force the big ear hand? Let's see, we need a backup plan though. Let's do maybe two, three, four, five dragon. Consecutive run, two numbers, fifth hand down. That gives us tiles to pass. We'll give up the north. Eh, no, let's give up, let's give up one of these tiles over here instead. Because we could play the news year hand concealed and leverage the north. So let's see what comes in. Oh shoot, I needed that too. Oh, I was gonna do the big ear hand. Oh, I kind of forgot about that. All right, now we got a south. All right, we'll just go with the flow. Maybe we'll get it back. It's kind of looking like the news concealed hand might be a better choice. I know, I made a mistake. Common fan. I made a mistake. I meant to keep year tiles, but I forgot I was going to force the big year hand. Okay, we got a we got a nine. Let's keep the nine. Okay, we have to make a choice. We only need one south if we play the news concealed hand under the year category. So let's give up the five, since it's a popular tile. We could still play three, four dragons. And we could still play consecutive run. We got the two back. Okay, recover. Recovery, right there. Okay, let's see if we can make the big ear hand work. How about raise the volume on discards since you can't see them? Okay, got it, Laura. I will turn up my volume a little bit. Okay, here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna try to force the big ear hand. We got the two dot back. We'll get rid of the winds and the three. We'll, we'll hold year tiles. And here's an east now. Okay, we have three tiles to pass, so we can still play the concealed news hand, maybe. We're in between.
Okay, we didn't get any keepers. Now, we did pick up a south, but I think that I, I would like to force this big year hand, and we could always fall back to the concealed news hand if it doesn't come in. We need more year tiles. We have a gap, no cracks. So let's see what happens. We need uh, cracks represented here. If we get a west, I think we should do the big, the concealed news hand. We got a north, we don't need it. But now we have like numbers. Like numbers is almost as bad as passing a pair. So I usually do not do that. I'm just gonna pass two. That way we don't have to make a decision. So we'll pass those two. And we can play either the big ear hand, the last one under singles and pairs, or we could play the noose concealed ear hand under the ear category. So we have discards now. We don't need the south. Two characters. Okay, there goes two crack. We gotta keep an eye yeah, on wins. year tiles because we need 2019 in cracks here. So we're just going to stay concealed. Well, either way, we're playing a concealed hand probably. So we'll see what happens. Green dragon. Two bamboos. Now, what I don't, what I'm not sure about here is do, do the other player oh look we got a two crack we're keeping it let's give up let's give up the seven crack seven so characters. what I was just thinking about this epoch I'll have to ask Four Slava characters. not that it really matters but do these other players have epoch and did they seven put characters. all these customizations on their hand and a good way to find out Eight is to seven. ask Joe if she cussed if she Joe are you playing with epoch now you may not be able to Red hear me dragon. i don't know if you're playing and listening to the live stream or not um Eight but dots. when you get after this game i'll ask because she might have turned Red off the live dragon. stream i don't know but every Six all the other bamboos. players excuse me <coughs> all the other players have bamboos. tattoos and fingernail polish on so is the game doing that for my pleasure? Or did these other players One customize e Epoch? I don't know. Oh, you know, I just noticed I don't, have a, I don't have the dragon tat on. Oh, Nine oh wait. Oh, I'm so confused. They, that other player has Two the tat bamboos. that I picked. For some reason, it didn't retain my tattoo. Eight All right, I, this is just going to have to take getting used to, I guess. Eight characters. I did choose it, but it, it's not yeah. on there now. I have a, a bare hand. But oh, maybe it went away when I tried to change my skin tone. I don't know. I think, I think so. That's what I'm trying to figure Six out. Bamboos. You know, so that was Joe. Okay, we already have a two dot and a nine dot. Okay, we have pairs here, guys. I'll get rid of the south. We, we should switch to that concealed hand. Look at all these multiples. I, I think we should give up on the big ear hand. We're three away from the concealed hand. Five bamboos. There's one... There's one one bam out, one one Four crack out, characters. two, okay, two bams. Oh, there's a west. All right, let's give up on the ear hand, the big ear hand. We, we have no gap. Well, no, we do have a gap, no one dot, but there are none out. So that that is going to be a weakness for us right now. Let's, let's see if we can draw one dot. I might regret that. I don't know. One character. Oh, we don't need a two dot. We only need a pair for the concealed hand. Two dots. Nine characters. One dot. There's the first one dot out. We need a pair. Oh, no, we need at least one or jokers for the one. Oh, there's a joker. Okay, that's good now. 
we're good. That, that'll fill a gap. Bamboo. So because it's a gap, I'm going to define the joker. You double click Zoom on it, bamboo. and then you click define, and then you select the tile that it represents. So now we don't have any gaps. North wind. I'm going to get rid of flowers now. Orchid. I wanted to get the big ear hand too, but we paired up, and so I was going with the strength of the hand. Eight characters. And, and we ended up even getting a joker, so I think it was the right Four choice. Characters. Eight dots. Yep, this, uh, Mary's Eight had a good wind. point. The the singles and the pairs for this hand are all handled. So now Five all we need bamboos. are jokers or the one dot. Eight bamboos. And we'll be good to go. So Four bamboos. this is a good strong hand. We just need a one dot or a joker to get ready to win. Four dots. Green dragon. Eight bamboos. Okay, we need a. Uh, oh, we ended up getting a nine crack. Nine. I think that pair hand could maybe have come in, but uh, I don't know. There are three one cracks out now. Six characters. Those those hands are high value for a reason because they're hard. White dragon. We're good there. Thank you. We need a one dot or a joker badly. Eight bamboos. Oh, that'll do. Two uh, That'll do. All right, so we're just going to hang tight and wait for a one dot for a win. One bamboo. Oh, I thought that was it. One character. Okay, JD Lana, she's in the live chat, but Nine I don't think bamboos. she's in the game. Nine and she does love me. She told me today. Seven bamboos. All right, we're looking for a one dot to win. Concealed news. Five characters. One bamboo. Oh, another one. Okay, six dot. There's one out. Six Aww. dots. Thank you, JD. South wind. So JD is also a betting North YouTuber. Wind. She does tabletop gaming. Eight dots. So we are, uh, oh, we got Mahjong. We are a high tech family. Mahjong. Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness, look at these one dots over here. Joker was going to be the only way to go here. So we got kind of lucky on that one, I think. Let's look and see what everybody was playing here. We have one, three, three, five. Looks like they were trying for either a one, three, five hand or maybe a maybe the pair hand, but their one bams went down. So I think they might have been trying to recover with one, three, five second hand down. And then they could maybe use the three cracks for joker bait. And then uh, we have East playing 369. It looks like they were maybe trying for the pair hand too, or any one of these 369 hands. And then Joe was trying for three, four, or four, five consecutive run, second hand from the bottom, maybe. She had her pairs and needed flowers, but had a couple jokers. So. All right, we got another win in. Very nice. Okay, let's quickly, there are no tables available. Let's go to the avatar hand again and see why, why my tap didn't retain. I wonder if I have to, oh, you can change the color of the tat. Oh, look at that. Okay, well, that's interesting. You can change the color of your tattoo. I I don't know why they're tiny versus big though. We'll just go with a tiny black there. Just black. We'll keep it classy. 
I mean, there's no judgment on colored tattoos. I'm just, I don't know. All right, so I clicked purchase. The nails, we're just going to do French manicure. And we'll click return to games. Let's see if it retained on this one. So here we go. We're going to join another seven second auto. I hope we can get in at least one more game, if not two. All right, let's see. I did click purchase, even if it's free. I did click it, so let's see what happens. French is on brand. I'm not, what does that mean? Does that mean it's popular? I personally like French manicures. That's my favorite, um, just because I feel less is more. Sometimes I go with colors. If my nails are short, I'll do a red maybe. But if my nails are a good, a good length, I'll do French. Yes, yes, I do. I do like French manicure. That's my favorite. It makes me feel pretty. So we're waiting for one more player to join us. Let's see if we can play a big hand. Maybe a quint, maybe a pair hand. That would be nice. Any win is a good win. We'll go with the strength of the hand, but I always like to look out for a big hand. Okay, so Carol says her first name is Joe, but she goes by Carol. <coughs> okay, so Joe, are you, did you download Epoch? And did you customize your avatar hand if you did? Okay, here we go. We have our players. Is, is Baldick? She's a very strong player. You can see she's a black belt and she earned it. Okay, so Carol said, or Joe said, yes, she did. So I, I think these, these Epoch players, those are their customized avatar hands. So that's interesting. All right, well, we'll see. It takes getting used to, I think. It will take getting used to. Any change takes getting used to. And we're all gonna be getting used to a new card. So you gotta prepare for change. Okay, why haven't we started yet? I'm hung up. Uh-oh. Did, did I freeze? Okay, I see my head moving. Uh, the game locked up for me. Oh, no. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, no. Technical difficulties here. I wonder if our bandwidth is being used up because I have two other gamers in the house. Um, uh oh, I'm going to close and come back. Oh, oh my goodness. What happens when you, when you have technical difficulty, if your game isn't responding on your side, the game will, Pat will do your Charleston for you. So we're, we may be joining a game in progress and a bot will have taken our place and we'll just have to go with the flow with whatever hand has resulted. So we're gonna be um, an underdog on this one. Okay, return to game. There's my tat. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Okay, we're doing, oh, the courtesy. Dang, we missed the entire Charleston. Who knows what we passed on? And look at, we've got one multiple. We have east and sixes, new uh, potential news there, potential year hand, 2468 gap. Um, I'm thinking east and, east and, what? Hey, I didn't do that. The game did that. I, I do not pass like numbers. That was not me. All right, now we have 
now we we have a mess. I wasn't fast enough, Six apparently. Members. It probably thought I was still hung up or something. All right, well, we'll just make do. Seven bamboos. Okay, now we're going to go with mul our characters. multiples. One, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, four five. Characters. First hand under consecutive run. We'll use east as joker bait, maybe. There are no wins out, so somebody might be playing a uh, wind hand. One dot. So let's play the first hand under consecutive run. One through five. Eight dots. So let's hold the nine, though. Seven bamboos. Because if we get sevens, we could play one, three, five, seven, nine, the very first hand under odds. North. Wind. So let's keep the nine just to see what happens. Yeah, at least we got back in. So we'll see what happens here. So a two dot or seven Four dot character. will be a decision maker here. Of course, we have three discards, so we really don't have to decide. There's a two dot. I think that's kind of a good decision right there. Now we have no gaps. North wind. No gaps equals strength. So I think uh, three dots. we're even set. Let's Kong. Kong. So we'll get rid of the nine. Nine dots. We can Pung the two, Pung the four, be ready on the five. And that's after one, one two, three discards. So we kind of came in at the nick of time there. There was an East discarded. Nobody wanted it. So these, these will be safe discards. Nine bamboos. I really hope I can draw one more tile because I really don't like advertising when I'm playing unless the four dot goes down because one let's see, no, the two dot because then they might think we're playing the second hand down, two, three, four, five in, a, in two suits. So let's hope Eight if a tile dot. goes down, it's the two. Nine bamboos. We're still two away from ready. Green dragon. Eight oh, I should be getting rid of these East. Nobody wanted it. I should be holding number tiles because they may be used in exposures with a joker. Nine so I'm going to get rid of these East next. I should have gotten rid Three of these dots. before these other ones. At least before we... One or when we got that two dot, Five that's bamboos. when I should have gotten rid of the East. Oh, and now we get a west. Let's just get rid of it. West wind. Oh, yeah, Peg, I have my tat. The Eight consecutive quint. One, uh, pair, pung, kong, quint. Two if we get more bamboos. jokers, we could do the quint, the very first quint. Dots. But we only have one Eight joker. Characters. And we wouldn't be able to claim the four... We could claim the two for Eight a pung bamboos. either way. So if the two goes down, we'll pung, and then we'll, we'll see what, goes, what comes our way. So there's a five dot. <clears throat> One five dot is out. Nine dot. We need a pair. Two characters. We got a two crack. That's the wrong suit. Pung. Eight characters. Three bamboos. Okay, flowers are going out first. Orchid. See if there's interest there. There was a pause. Somebody's playing West with flowers. <clears throat> Nine bamboos. Nine dots. Okay, th uh, east is going out. East so there, there are no three cracks out right now. We are in Two the middle game hands. until right about where the south moniker is. Here, right about here where this nine Nine. dot is. That's going to be the end of the third wall. So we need to get rid of this three by then. Three bamboos. Seven crack. There are none East out. Wind. Six characters. 
six characters. South wind. Okay, eight dot is out. We'll throw that first. Eight We're still dots. in the middle game, so it's okay to hold risky tiles. I'm hoping that maybe there'll be some exposures with a joker. Seven dots. That would be ideal if we can leverage those tiles, but I don't want to hold them past the third wall. Green dragon. Because people will be getting ready to stake Green their claim. Bamboos. Okay, there's a five. We'll get rid of that first. Five characters. Fives are hot commodities this year. Kong. Okay, there's Kong with a joker. Red dragon. West wind. Two characters. Now, let's see here. Two, they have a, a Joe has a two, a pung of two cracks out. She could be holding two dots for maybe a consecutive hand. She also could be playing another, you know, lots of consecutive hands five or maybe dots. evens, but oh, five dot. There's the second one out. We can't take it because that's for our pair. Two bamboos. There's the third two bam out. She could be playing a Seven year hand. Dots. Okay, we're we're coming up to where we need to get rid of these fresh tiles. Seven bamboos. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to swap out and start Nine holding dots. tiles that have already been discarded. There's no four out. I think I'll throw the three. The player three to my characters. left could be playing odds. There was a hesitation there. Six dots. We're Five heading into the end characters. game now, so having fresh tiles is going to be Six more and characters. more risky the longer we go. So I need to start swapping one these out. Dragon. One bam, there are three out. I'm going to hold that one and get rid of the four. four there are bam three bam. one bams out, so that's going to be a safe discard hmm. unless... Unless somebody's playing a year hand or an addition hand. South wind. Oh, thanks, Eight Jingles. Characters. She just said that she likes when I chat about the game and play. Green dragon. Because it teaches her. That's excellent. Thank hmm. you. Okay, so we have three, four, or four, five. Likely four, five. Six because there bamboos. are three, three bams out. So the player to my right north is probably Six looking for characters. five bams. So at this point, we need to decide if we want to switch to defense. Oh, there's our... Okay, so our hand is no longer valid. We are going to switch to defense now. We Four cannot characters. complete our hand because our pair is no longer viable. We have a... Uh, let's see. We could maybe play that quint if we get jokers. So that's what we're going to try. <coughs> we can pung. Let's see if we can get some pung. jokers and go for that quint. Because the fives are gone. Seven characters. One consolation is we have two safe discards. We need two jokers. Three jokers, Your really. Win. There are no four dots out right now. Five bamboos. Oh, oh, they're not ready for that five bam. Two dots. One dot. Green, a green dragon would be nice right now. Nine cracks are out. Just one though, so let's discard that. Nine characters. Nine The characters. one and the five are good safe tiles. We have one, two, three, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six more disc uh, picks. We have six more picks and two discards. North wind. And there are two jokers out right one now. One dragon. Okay, six bam, those are out. We'll, we'll discard that. Six bamboos. White dragon.
red dragon. The four dots still have not come out. I wonder if South is playing maybe mixed suit cons or something. West wind. East wind. Uh, Joe could be playing two, Andrew. three, four, five in mixed suits with fours, too. Although the fives are out, so highly unlikely. I think maybe South might have the fours. We'll find out. The, the green dragon is still available. Uh-oh, I hope I'm not stuck again. Uh-oh. Oh, no! I lost connection again. Uh-oh. I think I need to um, have a family meeting about gaming during my live streams. I feel like, oh, here we go. Does everybody want to try to play a game? What? I've not seen this before. Okay, where are we? Oh no, we don't want this one. Practice, no min belt. No. Okay, we'll see if we can play one more game. Since we started late with the shenanigans, with the avatar hand. Okay, we'll, we'll go again, we'll go more. We could go till nine if you guys want to, because I only have to iron one shirt and one pair of pants, because he only has to work one day this week. So I can go till nine. Anybody who wants to hang around, you're welcome to hang around. Maybe it is Epoch. I don't know. One more game. Okay, yeah, we'll play a game. Here we go. We got another black belt at the table. Here we go. I would love to have a black belt. All right. Let's see if we can recover from the technical problems. Okay, we have one joker. No, oh, we have a multiple with twos. One, two, three, we have no four. Two, four, six, eight potential, no four. We really don't need that east <clears throat> since we have no west and no flowers. So by process of elimination, I'm thinking one, two, three, four, or two, four, six, eight. So we really don't need the five or the seven. There's our pass. So we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, or 2, 4, 6, 8. Both will use the multiple for the 2 crack. Okay, yes to 9, Laura says. Martha agrees. Okay, we'll play till 9. We could, that's probably just two more games. And that would e really even out the, you know, the whole demonstration of customizing the avatar. We did spend a lot of time on that. And in the repost, I'll timestamp when the actual gameplay begins. And I will probably cut out the technical difficulties. That's the beauty of editing. All right, so we have a, a dragon that could be useful. It matches our multiple. We do have tiles to pass, but we have to make a choice. One, two, three. One, two, three. Really, we probably can give up the three dot. We could still play two, four, six, eight if we get the four. Uh, Vicky asks, how do you move up in belts? I have not seen, seen an explanation on the steps to move up. Okay, uh, I believe, <coughs> excuse me, I believe I have a video on it. We've got a four and an eight. I think we should play two, four, six, eight. 
we have no gaps for 2468. We could play any number of hands here, including the one with dragons. So let's see, we have to make a choice though. Since we have a pair with our two, let's give up the two bam and pass one of each suit. This is a little risky, one, two, three, but at least it's one of each suit. So two, four, six, eight, maybe the dragon hand, second from the bottom. Uh, let's see, so uh, Vicki, um, I'll try to put a link in the video description for the video on belt on the belts. There is a page on the website, Mahjong Time website, that explains the belt structure. And it's based on points. So when you win, we, we have two eight pairs. So I'm thinking two, four, six, eight, one suit, or maybe the dragon hand. So I think we can give up on the eight eight dot. Let's give up a three and a seven. Let's see, yeah, that'll work. Uh, let's see, so I'll put a link, but there is a, if you go to Mahjong Time, there at the bottom of the page, there's a tiny menu of links. Click on members, uh, let's see. No, I think it's in their FAQ, actually. It's gonna be in the FAQ. Let's keep the seven, nine. We have six, seven, eight, nine consecutive run. Even though two, four, six, eight is probably stronger. Maybe we should focus on that instead and break that up. Um, so, oh, good night, Jingles. Okay, we got a two, oh, year tiles, oh. Ooh, that was really risky. So we'll get rid of 716, let's say. I don't wanna give away two year tiles though. Well, either way, we're gonna be stuck with year tiles. Let's pass these. Okay, so you want to just mitigate the risk and do the best you can with what you have to give. Sometimes it's kind of a, a good, a good, better, best situation. In, in this case, this is the best we can do, so that's what I'm going to pass. That's a great pass. Let's put it even in there, though. Even though there's risk with 6-9, every pass is going to be have some level of risk, regardless. So we'll just do the best we can. Oh, they only want two. So we'll do East nine. Okay, let's see here. Okay, under stats is a link to explain the belts. Okay, that's good in the game. But for people who are not part of the game yet, and they're maybe out, uh, not joined yet, Easy it is posted way. on the uh, Mahjong Time Tim FAQ Bindu. page. So I'll try to put a link to it so that you can find it and understand it. But basically it's based on numbers. Hmm. And I think to get to a black belt, I think you need a hundred points Nine or something characters. like that, or a thousand points or something like that. One character. Um, okay, we'll get rid of the five. five so we have two, four, six, eight. We have two, four, eight. If we get flowers, we could maybe play a pair hand. I was thinking we could maybe still play um, the concealed hand too. Six crack. We'll pass. We could always use a, a joker or get the Nine six. Bamboos. We only need a pung if we do that. Let's discard the white dragon. White so we dragon. could play the second hand down. We could play the second from the bottom. We could play the concealed hand. Red dragon. Okay, no, we need a Kong for that. <clears throat> it's 200 points, Nancy says. Okay, I don't remember no, what it is, good. but, and I, I was watching it for a oh while, but I got discouraged, so I, I stopped watching for it. Uh, okay, now we have multiples with 2-4. So I'm thinking maybe we should play the Eight second bamboos. hand down. We can use the two crack as joker bait. Red dragon. Play two, four. Yeah, there goes the dragon. I think I would give up on that dragon hand now. And maybe play two, four, six, eight in, in dots and, and cracks. Dots. Okay, let's go ahead and let's commit and Kong. Kong. And we'll get rid of the dragon. Red we have dragon. no gaps. We're going to need a, we're going to need a two, six crack for, character. for the Pong. And of course, we'll need an eight crack or a joker for the eight. 
Seven so we're on our way for second hand down under evens. And we have Joker beat with the twos. Oops. Eight uh, I meant to discard the north. Seven oh well. Win. Okay, so um, I was watching my belt ranking for a while, but Two then I, I got all I was all focused about Seven winning. Characters. And that that takes that kind of takes the fun out of it, especially if you don't win and you're trying North to win. win. I just like to play for the fun of it, for exercising my brain Mom. and just the sheer joy of playing. So when I was watching my belt progress, I started getting discouraged. North win. And I decided I'm just not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna play to have Mom. fun. And if I rank up, then I rank up and eventually maybe I'll get that belt. And it'll be a happy day. White dragon. But after this, I can Seven show you where characters. to check your stats. I, I try not to go there for Six the reasons characters. I just explained. Some people, oh, we got a winner. One, three, five, mixed suits with dragons, fourth hand down. Very nice. Are we stuck again? Oh no, okay, here we go. One, three in cracks. Or one three in dots, three five in cracks with the opposite dragon. Uh, that would be odds number four. And then uh, East was playing four, five, six, seven consecutive run flowers for Joker bait. Maybe. And then over here, uh, looks like a three six nine hand potentially. Three six nine, maybe the Joker was going to be the six dot. So they were getting there, and of course we were playing two, four, six, eight, no gaps, but we needed healthier multiples. So when you're at the lobby, at the very bottom of the screen, you see my account, my statistics, archive my items. I think it's under my statistics. <clears throat> and then you look at your belt under my statistics, and you can see I have a rating of 123.98, so 124. So I'm 80 points away from a black belt. 80 points away. I got up to like five points away, and then I got I I started I, I got on a losing streak and I started losing and I saw those number go numbers go down, and I got really discouraged. So I stopped looking. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to play that one. We're going to go into seven second auto. All right. So <clears throat> the points bounce up and down. Yes, they do. And as the community grows, it's going to be more and more difficult to rank up. So, for example, if you like to play Siamese Mahjong, get in on the ground level there. Rank up while the community is small. That was one, one thing that Slava recommended. So uh, I don't play, play that too often at the moment. So I might try to do that and try to rank up. I don't know what belt I am there, but it, when the community is small, it's easier to rank up. When the community is growing and large, it is going to be high, harder to rank. That's the way it was explained to me anyway. All right, so we'll be able to get in one more game. <clears throat> Here we go. Okay, we have some year tiles. We do have two, three, four, five potential. Year tiles use east and west. So um, the thing about the year, hand, year category with wins, there's only one hand. I think consecutive run has a lot more options. So I think that's what we should do. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, because we have two fives. We could even do four, uh, three, four, five, six. So let's keep the six. We'll break up the wins early. We do have some potential for little odds, one, three, five. So let's start there. Oh, <laughs> welcome back, Jingles. Sounds like you never left, though. 
Oh, okay, Nancy said she watched the video on Siamese and it was nerve wracking. It is def it is more intense, for sure. Many people agree with that. Okay, so we do have a lot of odds here at this at at this point. Five, three, five, one, three, five. We do have two nines, but no sevens. So since there's a gap of no sevens, I'm going to give up on big odds. I'm going to keep the green dragon because we have a four five. There's a slight potential for a hand there. Okay, now we have a dragon and a five. We have now a potential for like numbers with fives. So we're going to keep all the fives. Let's give up the west, the nine. Now we have to make a choice. Two, three, four, five. Like numbers with fives. Little odds, four, five. L let's give up the three crack. Either way, we're going to have risk passing three nine or year tiles, so we'll just give up the three. There's going to be risks there regardless. Now we have four five consecutive run, and we do have tiles to pass, so we really don't have to pick a hand yet. We're in between, I think, four five consecutive run, or like numbers with fives and dragons. So we'll see how this shakes out. I think at this point we can give away the twos. So we'll keep these dragons for a little bit and see what happens. We're building around the five because that's our multiple. Here we go. Cross your fingers. No keepers. No keepers. Let's break up the two here. Let's see. Let's let's pass a two east. That way we're left with a one crack two bam for the next pass. Just in case we get everything we want. Even though passing two year tiles is going to have some risk. Okay, we got a th one, three, five, one, three west. Well, the west can go. The one can go. Or maybe the one, two, and keep the three. Because here we have a three, four, five. Or we could have done two, three, four with fives. Fourth hand down under consecutive run. Let's see if we can get... Let's see if we can get that two crack back. We could do two, three, four. Oh, we got the five. Three, four, five. Or, okay, let's keep the five. We have ones. We have to make a choice. Okay, so I think we should give up the three because we can still do four, five consecutive run or like numbers with fives. So we'll give up the three. If we get a six crack, we could maybe play that concealed hand. Four, five, six with fives. Singles and pairs, second from the bottom. We, we do have a gap of no red dragon, but there is a slight potential for that hand, yes. Uh, second hand from the bottom under singles and pairs. We don't have any red dragons, uh, but that, there is potential there. We'll see what happens. West wind. We got a five. One bamboo. All right. So let's see. I think Why like not? numbers with fives is the strongest potential. One dot. One character. Let's see if we can get some dragons or maybe some flowers. So since I'm not cool, since I'm not playing winds and winds are going down, that's the best Wind thing to dragon. discard. There goes a red dragon. Oh, keep the south wet for light for north and south with fives. Seven I would have to throw away a pair of fives. I want to try to use those fives. So that's why I'm Nine thinking dots. like numbers with fives. Okay, there's a seven. Let's get rid of the two. Two characters. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. I mean, One we could character. maybe play an odd pair One hand. Character. Five, seven, nine pair hand, but we have a lot of gaps. Characters. Let's just see what happens. 
Maybe we could give up on the fours and go, okay, now I would not play a pair hand. We got a One joker. Character. I think life numbers with fives is going to be the best way to go here. Seven that would leverage three. all the multiples. Three characters. We can keep the odds just to see if the pair hand comes in, and then we could sacrifice that joker. Three bamboos. So let's see what happens. Oh, that's interesting. The concealed hand. Let's give up on the nine. nine Here's bamboo. four, five, six with fives. No gaps. North wind. Four, five, six with fives. That's the concealed hand under consecutive run. North wind. One bamboo. There's another joker. Four bamboos. And we have our pair. The five bam, bam or five crack is the pair. East wind. We can use jokers everywhere else. Two characters. Okay, now the dragons Seven are being bamboos. discarded. I really should be getting rid of those. But I was thinking about keeping One those dot. for like numbers. West I wind. think we should keep them. There's only one red dragon out. Nine bamboos. Let's see what we get. I still think we're in between. The concealed West wind. consecutive run hand and like numbers with fives and dragons. Eight dots. I think that's where we're at right now. If we get flowers, hmm. we could maybe play the first like number hand. But that is a gap hand right there. So White that's going to take lower priority. Oh, now we got a new multiple. Seven so dots. I think that solidifies that Four consecutive dots. run concealed hand. We have a multiple in there now. That's what we should go for. We have two discards for a concealed hand. And these dragons should be safe discards too. Four dots. There's a keeper. White dragon. We're one away from a concealed hand. Look at all those pairs. Nine bamboos. Two bamboos. That's actually an old pair hand if we could get... Two bamboos. No, maybe not. I don't know. I'm confused. I don't know what I was thinking. Green dragon. Four, five, six with fives. Oh, flowers. That's what it was. Was it Seven flowers? Bamboos. Three consecutive pairs. The middle number One pairs. And then a pair of flowers. I think that West was an old pair hand. Okay, I want to get rid of the flower now. Orchid. We are in he heading into the um, end of the middle game. We still have three more picks to the uh, middle game. East wind. So I could have held that, that flower for a little longer, but we Four really dots. only need one more tile to be ready to win. One character. We need a, North a joker or one of four tiles three at this bamboos. point to be ready to win. Hmm. Ooh, there's, there's a joker up for grabs. Okay, there is one of our tiles. We're going to pass. This is concealed. Two characters. You don't want to claim a discard on a concealed Eight hand. Wind. Oh, that's not a keeper. Eight bamboos. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There was pause there. Five dots. Okay, we need that, but we're playing concealed. Four characters. That was our other one. We have to use the joker there now, because there are two out. A three bam would be ideal. Six dots. We could get that. Oh, three dot. There's a joker out still. Three dots. Let's see if anybody takes that. Nope. So three bam, six dots. we need a three bam, six three crack, dots. five dot, or five bam. Only one five dot is out right now, so this is Five looking pretty characters. good, right? Oh, oh, oh no, we're good, that's our pair. South wind. Okay, we're in the end game now. Seven dots. The seven crack, I need to swap it out because that is a fresh tile. Seven dots. So we need a good a good swap. Four bamboos. 
Four bam. That's a good keeper then. We'll get rid of the seven. Seven characters. That four bam is a um, safe discard. Nine dots. Okay, three bam would be great. Five bamboo. Or another keeper. Oh, we need that. Pass. Red okay, dragon. options are dwindling here. I mean, we're still strong because we have only one of each five is out. Two bamboos. We don't need the five crack. No six cracks are Two out. Bamboos. So we're, we're looking good still. Green dragon. Six dot we don't need. Six dots. There were, there's only one out. Five bamboo. Okay, so that's the second five bam out. I almost clicked Pung. So we're going to have to Six use dots. that Joker for the five bam. Four so dots. we need some help here. Seven dots. We have uh, five more picks. Red dragon. And we have one discard. So this hand is viable. Red dragon. We need a three bam, five dot six crack. There's a joker. That'll do. Four bamboo. So we need a six crack or a five dot to win. Three or, dots. or a three bam. If we pick a three bam, we could exchange that Nine joker bamboos. for a win. Nine characters. Kong. Five, five, dragon. they're playing seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I hope I don't draw an eight, Two characters. an eight or a flower. Seven they're bamboos. playing seven, eight, nine Kongs. Three dots. Third hand down under consecutive run. Oh, they got it. Oh, we were ready to win. Bummer. Oh, well, it was a nice effort though. Okay, well then. That was a good win. All right, let's see what others were doing here. We have West with a two, four, six, eight hand. I think they were trying two, four, six, eight with flowers, but but that was gonna be hard. Wait a minute, what are they doing? I don't know what they're doing because there's no pung of eights with flowers. I don't know what they were trying to do. Um, okay, let's see here. They won, and then this player was trying to play three, six, nine of some kind, but they had some work to do. So we were second in line there, we were ready to win, and it looks like one player had a six crack. Another, two of two players had six cracks, and it was a fresh tile. So we needed that three ban, or another joker, or self pick up or have these other players discard a six crack. But I don't know if they would have done that because one was playing two, four, six, eight, and the other was playing three, six, nine. So we might have needed a joker to get a win out of this one. But it was fun trying. It was a good effort, I think. Oh, thank you, Bonnie. Okay, so it's uh, almost nine o'clock now. I think we should call that a complete live stream at this point for the gaming. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me. So let's see here. Let me just double check on the chat before I sign off. Uh, what's the new schedule for National Mahjong League live streams? So just to recap, National Mahjong League live streams will be the first Sunday of the month at night, 7 p.m. Eastern, Tuesdays from 3 to 4.30, Eastern, that will be for beginners. Thursday night, 7 p.m. to 8.30 Eastern, that will be advanced or just open play. We'll talk about the game in play without um, any focus on left skill level. We'll just do commentary on what happens. So that's going to be a regular live stream, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. So that's the live stream schedule. Let's see, Bonnie asked, could you perhaps create a Facebook events for, I did create events on Facebook for live streams. There's a whole bunch of them. As a matter of fact, I was afraid that I was gonna overwhelm people by posting all the events at one time. But I wanna try to get all the events for the month up so everybody can see what to expect 
for live streams because I, I may be traveling more. Uh, and of course, traveling will limit my availability to live stream. So uh, speaking of which, is let me know in the comment section or in the chat here if you are interested in vlogging, if you want me to vlog experiences as I travel to Mahjong related at, uh, events. So it wouldn't be just my life, it would be Mahjong related. So uh, let's see, Tuesday will be exciting. Oh, thank good, Gloria, I'm glad. I uh, love the American Mahjong live stream schedule. Excellent, Paula, thank you. Okay, so if nobody has any more questions for chat, you can always continue asking, sorry, hold on. <laughs> I think I might have hit my limit. My throat is giving out. <laughs> anyway, if you don't have any more questions in the comment section, uh, or the co the chat, you can leave your questions there and I'll catch up on them or post them under the video in the repost or you could always go to my Facebook page and post any comments there because we continue the conversations there. Whether it's about a video or not, just anything Mahjong related can go there. So I hope you had a great time. Thanks so much for coming, JD. It was so great to have you here. Everybody. <coughs> Thank you so much for coming by. I really do appreciate it. And we will see you again on Sunday night. If you like American Mahjong, 7 p.m. Eastern time, we'll be here. So I'm going to close out again. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next live stream, may all your picks be keepers. <laughs>